Hello, Cancer. Happy birthday. Um, this is a great month for us, right? We're in our season. Happy, happy birthday to all my Cancers out there, fellow Cancerians. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and I'm here to give you Sun, Moon, and Rising general reading for Cancer for July of 2000 and 19. Please do consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. We're going to get right into this reading because it is a fabulous one for us, and I really want to dive deep, okay? Now, coming towards us, uh, the energy coming towards us, as you can see here, is the Two of Wands. So we're going to have some really interesting decisions to make, and, and it's like We've got the motivation to do it. Like can Cancerians, if you have felt that you're just like, I've got to do this now. I've got to go now. I've got to make this decision. I've got to live my best life right now. All the big dreams, all the big ideas, all of that that we've had for the last, I don't know, 12 months almost, it feels like, but definitely the last six, we're really no truly go time. Um, these are going to be with the Four of Cups energy things that are very we've been rather emotional about okay be careful during this month during our season with, that you don't get too overly emotional and overthink things okay we're gonna have the tendency to be like yeah but should I yeah but is it the right time yeah but is this gonna hurt somebody else's feelings yeah but yeah but yeah but stop with the yeah but ever do okay just do okay that's the energy coming towards us yes contemplate it a little bit don't allow it to paralyze you that you're not able to go into this is a great month to start to really lay that foundation and to be like okay i am finally going to start that business i'm finally going to start that spiritual practice especially with all the other transits that we're experiencing with the recent solar eclipse the upcoming lunar eclipse um, if you want some more information about the energies surrounding those two events, there's um, a video. I'll put the link to that video um, here and on the end screens. So um, there, you're going to have a link to that. Listen, it's time. Like the energies that we're having, any spiritual endeavors, you're going to be able to get material gain or see third dimensional gain, not in a bad way, but see third dimensional gain from it. So really tap into the energies as they are right now. Um, we're bringing to the table temperance. Um, Sagittarian energy, big ideas, right? But also with the knowledge of how to take our spiritual prowess, our intuition and really play it in with the material world and manifest it and that is further shown by the queen of pentacles right we've got some manifestation happening we're really finally realizing we're finally realizing uh, reaping the harvest of all the seeds that we have sown and oh my gosh here's temperance again so basically having the patience this is a marathon, having the patience, but really, oh my gosh, being ready to get that perfect al um, alchemistic um, mixture, right? Between spirit and logic. Now, again, watch out for analysis paralysis, okay? Um, tap into your emotional intelligence this month because the emotional intelligence is gonna help you in your manifestation intelligence, your manifestation abilities, in what you attract to you. So be careful, okay? I know it's been a long time coming, but we do have a very unique ability to utilize our emotions and our intuition in a way that other signs typically can't. Um, this is also a good season for, if, uh, for our trines as well, right? For our Scorpios and our Pisceans. This is a great time for us to tap into not only our own, but into their abilities as well, okay? Um, especially with Neptune being so prominent in our, Neptune and Saturn being sextile during this time, and us being able to tap into that, our, 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 our south node, our opposing sign, Capricornian energy, so that planning, that structure, 
um, the governance, this is what we're to do and how we're to do it with that Neptunian Piscean energy, right? Of the dreaminess, the depth of uh, spiritual abilities, um, the just knowing, that eternal wisdom. It's all playing out right now in our sign. And also the Plutonian energy that by Pluto being in retrograde, this is really to me about uh, personal transformation, um, things that we didn't want to face before coming up to the surface. And we know that we've got to get that from it now. So all of this is very beautiful with these two eclipses that are, are, are happening within that one that has happened and the next one that's about to happen within our sign, within our birthday month. Um, it is a definite reset, um, which we have with the solar eclipse, a restart, reset, okay, starting new, new moon solar eclipse, and then with the lunar eclipse, okay, it's time to really close these emotional chapters. It's time to really get that healing, get that chakra healing and such. It's time, right? So that's going to allow us to close some of those doors that have held us back the doubting, um, not sure about success. You know, are we able to be successful? Um, people that really, they have appeared to have wanted us to be successful, but Lord knows they show when they call us now, aren't they? So, you know, it's okay to let them go cancer. You know, we want to hold on to it. We want to make it better. But when we get finally fed up, when we get to the point where I can go no further, and that's the time period we're in right now, don't go any further with let it go what could be a potential obstacle force and i don't necessarily see it as an obstacle is the star card and you know that energy that aquarian um i can do all things energy right uh sometimes i think we hold ourselves back um where we are very or very practical um but that deep thought energy could keep us from really moving forward like we should okay um with the seven of swords this is what i'm going to tell you what i'm really hearing on a deeper level is be very careful who you partner up with um also what i'm hearing as well you know with this illumination of secrets of people that may have done us wrong of people that really didn't have the best motivation at our at you know for us really didn't really want the best for us gossiping all this kind of stuff um right especially people that we really wanted to work with and that we felt we could partner with cancers were great partners we're amazing partners right and we want everybody to succeed especially those that we truly care about and I feel that for some, a lot of it's being illuminated that these are people that really don't belong in our lives or their true um, motivations are being illuminated. And what's gonna help us is understanding with the nine of crystals, you can't bring everybody along. So don't sit too long when you find out somebody's been lying, gossiping, stealing and whatnot. Don't sit too long in that energy because what that's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna make us go back to this thought, these thoughts, right? It's going to make us go back to this contemplation and kind of sitting around the table and going, well, I don't understand. Why didn't I see this and when and how and why? And when I did so much, when I gave so much, you know, sometimes cancers, we give way too much. You know, we need to pull some of that mess back. Okay. Not going to lie. And also what's going to help the nine of crystals and the sun and the nine of crystals, um, with the sun card as a, uh, kind of a rooting down or, you know, a clarification, the knowledge that we can do this, we have everything within us to uh, bring this brighter day. We have everything within us to move and, and flow in that which what we're meant to move and flow on. We have everything within us to manifest, right? Our deepest, innermost desires and to, and to blossom and bloom. July is a wonderful blossoming and blooming time. Allow yourself to bloom. Allow yourself to blossom and know that we don't necessarily do, nor should we 
try to bring everybody along with and if they did you wrong cancer you got to shake the dust off it's okay sometimes you got to set them loose even when you've done so much and poured so much into their lives not everyone not everyone unfortunately is able to receive it and take it not everyone is ready to elevate not everyone is ready to come along with us and in all honesty this is a very this is a beautiful moment for us to feel completely comfortable in our independence to feel completely comfortable with who we are faults and all to be completely comfortable with our intuitive nature our sight our spiritual gifts to be completely comfortable with our money making manifestation game to be co completely comfortable with how much we love and to be completely comfortable with understanding that sometimes that all the time right we uh should seek the to, or, or or draw into us have only around us the people that love and honor and cherish us and the rest of it gotta go by the wayside finally the outcome or advice the outcome here we have the empress man all good things all good things all good things everything's coming up roses everything's coming up seven everything that you touch turns to gold with the justice card the more you put in the more you get out things become balanced and fair relationships you know i can see blossoming as well um, and really coming into a very equitable state. And here we are with the Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. By the end of this month, there's gonna be so much, so many good things in place and moving where you can see that's the trajectory over the next six months. It's gonna be amazing. Cancer, that's what I have for you today. Now, don't forget, do check out that solar eclipse video I just did in the, uh, last week and then the lunar eclipse video that I've done to really prepare you for the upcoming partial lunar eclipse in uh, July on July 16th. Also if you wish to work with me I'm having a special it's down there in the bottom uh, below $51. It's normally $100 to spend an hour with me but in honor of my birthday on the 16th I'll be $51. $51 Book that time with me now and tarot class tarot class starts this month guys tarot class starts this month 297 dollars five weeks interactive uh classes with myself and other students and then you'll also have video downloads that you can keep um for yourself so do register for that because my space is limited i'm not taking on a lot of clients so a lot of students i want this to be good informative and intense Okay, so that by the time we get done with it, your intuition has really been elevated and you too can read cards for yourself or your friends. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Namaste. Tarot classes start on July the 20th. They're only $297. Go to heartofinspiration.net to register now.